yeah. Phil Carley yeah. Yeah. makes our graphics yeah. that don't leave home until 11 a.m. and everything. Yeah. He was sharing uh, some of the history of KTLA. We were talking about how they're sealing, we have tunnels under the Ooh. station and they're sealing them up now because of fire code. I did not know that the building on Sunset was a bowling alley. No, no way, 1950. That's cool. Let's bring that back. Is that true, Doug? Doug doesn't know. Doug's like, oh, that's for my time. Oh, this cool. is the control room in 1949. 1949. It looks very similar. We have the same equipment. <laughs> <laughs> what are those men? Yeah. I know those men. You know, what's up with all those men? All those white men. <laughs> <laughs> no. hmm. uh, this is the view. You know, Fountain and Wilton? Yeah. This is what it looked like wow. back then. That's cool. Fountain, uh, that's crazy, isn't it? Mm. And uh, oh, this one. Oh, that yeah. Sunset Boulevard. Model 800. Yeah. Oh, 5800 Sunset. Tea. So that's the hotel. What is that thing? Hotel what? El Dorado. That's where, uh, what's his name lives now? Uh, Mark. Uh, I mean, um, uh, McGrath. McGregor. No, McGregor. 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 <laughs> oh, that is not where it is. That well, he's got a, he stays there during the week, and then he goes back to San Diego. You should tell people where people live. Sunset Bowling Center. Open that all night. That is awesome. 5842 Sunset Boulevard. That's wow. wow. I think we should bring that back. Yeah. Maybe Netflix can uh, do something. I always wonder. I always thought that was like a facade of a building, like nothing ever happened. Have you ever been in there? You've no. worked there all this time. I've, I've never, never been, inside. been in there. Well, probably like Netflix are probably not allowed in there. I didn't realize that it is actually that old. Like I thought it was, you know, the Hollywood like thing. Hollywood like let's make it thing. look like yeah, it's from the twenties. That is so like cool. Gene Willikers. <laughs> Golly, Gene Willikers. All right, we're going to be right back. Golly, Gene Willikers. All right. They have a cocktail bar. Well, we still we have definitely have that. Back. <laughs> showing these we did not know that the facility on sunset that and, and lynette learned some more about the thing that, that was well, a ron gabbiotti who's been here forever and is fantastic he t sent me a text uh, to give us the background a little bit um and he says the bowling alley was actually behind the front building on sunset boulevard the front building that was offices things for warner brothers later home of kmpc radio uh, before Tri tribune took over the bowling alley was stage nine behind the main building wow. and then they put Bowling lanes on stage three for Bowling for Dollars in the 70s, hosted by Chick Hearn. Um, he says, just more trivia for you. So from Bowling Alley to this. This is the 630 edition of KTLA News, with live cameras in the air and on the ground. Western America's first television station, Ranger Now B News, live on the ground. Wow. B News. How cool is that? Wow. It's amazing. Oh, this gets good. Keep watching. This is great. They should use this in the current one. You know what I mean? Oh, my gosh. Look at that. Wow. Big five. Big five. That was a big, you know, it's so funny that I worked for a big four news. Thing, yeah, there was a big thing back then. They used to say big. Either eyewitness or big. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> That's this one. Yeah, there might be, but that's, I, I bet none of my scared of the ghosts. 
No, I'm not scared of the ghost. I'm oh, of oh. It. Okay, the spider. Roll it! This is the 630 edition of KTLA News. With live cameras in the air and on the ground. Western America's first television station. Range it out, B News. Live on the ground. Now, here is Joe Novak. Good evening. And what's going on? We'll get to it. We'll get to it. Don't worry about it. Right. We, have, we have something here at KTLA that no other news station had. We'll find that in just a little bit. All right. It's a helicopter. No, no. No, no. Oh, no. Yes. Mm-hmm. The live truck. No, no. Stand by. Hmm. She loves to guess. <laughs> you get bites on your ankles in the news. Can you imagine the bugs in the tunnels? No. Oh, see, now I, I'm I don't totally want to down to do it, though. Do you think would, you can do it, Doug? Do you think? That would be awesome. Right? Do we do it? We'll go live on we'll Instagram. We'll go live. We'll go be live here, on Facebook. And then we'll go. We'll take you with okay. us. Yeah, you go first. Yeah. You lead the party, and I'll take the back. <laughs> I don't know. I feel like it was rain. I'm afraid of watery trenches and. Well, I don't think there's water in it. It's just a little damp. It's fine. It's you two are way braver than me. It's fine. It almost, you know what it feels like when you're at Disneyland and you go in like Pirates of the Caribbean. It feels like that. Like a little, I bet our tunnels do look like Pirates of the Caribbean. I feel like I got. I want to say good. Oh my god, my brain. Bottle. What's the drug lord guy? Oh, um. El Chapo. El Chapo. Just call me El Chapo. Come on. I'm <laughs>
been talking all morning about all the history of Katie. We've been showing those pictures, mm -hmm. Katie Lee history. I did not know this. Did you know this? Carlo Pano says that he used to work on Jeopardy, which was on the Channel 5 lot from 85 to 1990 on stage one. And there's a oh, picture. Oh, so cool. He's the one with all the hair in the front. Is that? Probably him. Yeah. 